East Tilbury, has been associated with the defence of the realm since the time of Henry VIII. During the 1860s, a worrying time, a fort was built at Coal House Point. As we know, courageous men have served there and lived and died all for this, their country. Many are remembered on a plaque hidden on the church tower during the Great War by those serving the original monument ordered to be destroyed by a power-driven general, an unreasonable man. But the plaque survived with the will of God and the ingenuity of the men. So many men of courage and ability served and laid down their lives. We must and will remember each one. So many great men, too many to mention all, but one whose story illustrates so many, the founder of the Fort Choir, his story tells their story so well. Captain William Curry was popular, well loved, an athlete, died at the age of 25 so young. He saw action again and again and was wounded severely, but always returned to the fray, survived what seemed impossible odds. On the night of October 26, 1916, with a reconnaissance party went into the line of fire to gain information. He alone made his way right up to enemy trenches. He was bombed and badly injured, but with his determination and courage, and yes, great gallantry, and under fire, he returned fire, then crawled back to his own lines, evading capture. He had gained valuable information, but he was mortally wounded. How he returned with a wound to his head breaks above and below one knee, pain that could not be imagined, but he did return. Such is the measure of this man. Sadly, Lieutenant William Leonard Curry died. His story is typical of the men of the fort, these regiments, and that time. We must never, and will never, forget them. Uh -huh.